Pod in the City is a Sex in the City podcast and thus contains adult themes and explicit content. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to Pod in the City. I'm Amanda. And I'm John. We're two besties who bonded over Sex in the City in college. And now, 20 years later, we're reliving it like it's our very first time. Season 2, episode 15. Carrie dates a writer and feels like she's dating his family as well. Miranda (laughs) dates a divorced father. And that's the entire description. Oh, all right. Google. Um, What happened to Charlotte? uh, You're leading this one, so I hope you remember. Now I kind of forgot. You guys, I've had a dopamine rush because I did a solo live and I've learned that my future might be in live live streaming. Like alone. So I'm going to get a Twitch a Twitch, um, a Twitch stream is that channel? A Twitch channel, and I'm gonna get one of those like chairs. Gamer chair, that they gamer have. chair. Yeah, yeah totally and I'm gonna get like a the mic like here or whatever. How they have that's so they have cool. It. Lots of like LED lights, a camera like facing on me. I'll play like I guess stuff on my. When I'm on like Bumble, I definitely don't swipe out of those. Any picture with like a gaming system or gaming chair, I'm like. Bye. Okay, but mine would Mountain be like fish. Cute. Oh. I'm not going to be gaming. I'm going to be live streaming, Amanda. Okay. Which is just going to be me, um, you know, doing like talking, maybe some word association. Like, like what, what do I think when I hear the word sister wives? Over now, <laughs> whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Not Guys, anymore. Anyway, anyway that's Amanda and I just sat here and shot shot the shit for like way too damn long. About we were sister gonna... wives, we're in sister mind, uh, wives brain right now, but it's we're just, moving back. To it's sister. infesting Amanda's long. Well, it starts darling. this Sunday, Joan. Oh. I mean, that's like a big deal. That is, is a big deal. Emmys. You know what is a really big deal though is that um, our Wednesday or weekly roundups, y'all that typically are posted here on Mondays are moving to Wednesday, 4 p.m., y'all. It's like an afternoon talk show. It's like the time that Wendy Williams would be on, you know. Um, So if you're missing Wendy like I am, because, baby, there was no shade like Wendy Williams shit. So, what's the um, living? She's like, it. guess who's jealous of of someone? And she's like, Beyonce. <laughs> is she of Rihanna is it Rihanna? Guess who's jealous of Rihanna? Beyonce. <laughs> she does all kinds of shit. Her show was so shady, so so shady. They would have shady uh, um, camera work, cameramen. They'd like and always she- focus on like uh, it was just funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, and then she farted that one time, guys. Wednesdays will be Wednesday weekly Wendy reincarnated roundup Roundup. for you, baby. Um, And check out my eight minute live that I did do all on my own. If you want to see someone, you know, really come into their own. Really, really killing it. JK, I for the first first part, I'm like, oh, I'm just talking to nobody. So I guess I'm just going to be talking. Kind of better. Nobody. That's why it, I like. Yeah. I was happy that there were only eight total. Um, it's at once, at least. There might have been more, but you know, I'm sure people were like clicked in and were like, "What the hell is this?" They didn't see my there. glowing face, and they had to. Well, go, actually, oh, I'm God. thinking that maybe some people, you know, there was more consistency. People weren't dropping out as much, so I'm wondering maybe. <laughs> You know, I'll let you think whatever you want. People, but they were dedicated. (laughs) Do you want to get into news and gossip? Um, I do. Do do. My first news is if you guys did see the cover, um, it's not like news about the cover. Um, except that I did do some work here. Some composite work, all right? See that that window around Carrie? I added that. These two images, separate frames. Wow. What I do want you That's to notice, though, is... What's um, the man Miranda, doing under the... 
That was the reflection in the window oh, when Carrie's okay, like banging on the window. It was this random okay. man in the reflection. Um, I would like you to notice Miranda's face. Unfortunately, it's kind of small, so I thought I'd give a bigger version. Oh God, it's really haunting. I love Miranda, and she is my queen, and Cynthia Nixon is my queen. But when I was trying to capture a photo, like, it was this. My other option, though, I thought I'd give you the second choice, was this. So I uh, thought... Yeah, and I like the first one, but both of them are this at good. least was a little... <laughs> oh, no, Cynthia. She just has a really expressive... My face is like this, too. Oh, I guess like... that's true. You know what? I'm really shit in, like, action um, shots. Candid, like, yeah. Candid, anytime candid I've shot. had action shots, like, or whatever they call them, like, when you do a show... You know, and they will do, like, the photos. Yes. <laughs> like, they'll do it while you're doing a run or whatever. Oh, my God. I look fucked up in the yeah, face. I, know. I get it, Cynthia, yeah, baby. Remember. I'm not judging you. I just I just thought, like, I'm like, wow, this that doesn't even look like her, in my opinion. And then this was my alternate. So those are the first two pieces of news. Um, That's it. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, did you add a couple of things down here? I no, did. Okay. So, um, um well. I'll do mine really quick. But uh, Sarah Jessica Parker posted this. Uh, it says, okay. Dateline Queens, New York. What? Dateline. I, don't... I think so, she's trying to be about like. The grammar here is weird. No, she's trying to be like, um, like old timey, being like, you know how they would be like Dateline Queens. Okay, New but York, there should be a colon after 9th. Dateline, right? I don't. I would assume. Okay, that would that would that would make this break this up. Okay, anyway, Dateline and then Yeah, I point. agree. It may, it's Queens, like I New figured York. they're filming the show Dateline or something. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So Dateline, let's assume there's a colon. Queens, New York. So they're at Silver Cup Studios, I assume. September 6, 2024. Okay, so this was Friday. And then okay. uh, so says he, so says many. What say you? X S J. I don't really Now that makes more sense when you see what he's writing. She's clearly talking about what he's writing there. Oh, okay, yes. Because because right. here's the more zoomed in shot. He his it's like his uh, door for his dressing room dressing door. room that said Aiden, and he's adding is the best boyfriend, um, and maybe just someone wrote Aiden is the best or what you know how you do like uh, yeah he's what, she's changing he's what cheeky cheeky older men do um yeah, and so Aiden that's why she wrote see so says he that he's the best boyfriend so says many what say what you say you now what say you amanda is he your favorite like do you think he's carrie's most okay there's two he's... questions here all right is he your favorite boyfriend and then is do you think he's the best boyfriend for carrie i guess um, I think he's like the best guy myself. Okay. I definitely would have cheated on him with Big. Because <laughs> okay. I always, I actually always kind of considered that like me marrying Brad was like me making that decision like Big. Like it's like probably not the best decision. And there were like nicer guys that like I was dating, but uh -huh. like i like I, I knew that even like as a young a youngster that like i would choose the big i would choose the one that's probably going to like not really be the best for me but damn is it gonna be but a had a lot of chemistry it? and all that yeah exactly and is brooding like that and like isn't as mm -hmm. emotionally available but like when he is emotionally available it's like such a like rush mm -hmm. um aiden would just bore me I, however like me as a 41 year old i guess i could date an aiden could i i mean you know me now as now i'm dating again and i'm sober and i'm old and i'm not really that much different than i was before <laughs> well i'm interested to see a couple of things okay because we're gonna continue obviously and we haven't even met aiden in sex in the city yet or so i'm that. looking oh, forward to gotcha. well i'm looking forward in both ways i'm looking forward to to really having a a good chance like we do on here to analyze their relationship a little bit more because watching after watching the beginning of big and and carrie's relationship again and analyzing it kind of I'm not going to call this analyzing, but, you know, doing what we do with it, watching it and, you know, talking shit about it. Um, it's made me think differently. So I'm, I'm interested to kind of have a refreshed memory of what their relationship was like. And I also haven't seen what it's like in um, and just like that, because for me, I think Carrie should be with. 
I don't know who I think she should be. You know, I will say we did pose the question last week um, about Smith Jared oh, yeah. coming back um, and playing and, and getting with Carrie. And we did have a comment saying that they thought they would hate that. So, because I did ask people's opinions. And luckily, I know we got that, one comment. Um, it went, when is Aiden come? Like season three, I think. That episode where they're like dating and like making out and stuff, but like he won't have sex with her for like mm -hmm. a week, that would 100% be me. Like I would fully spiral like that too. Like I would assume that he's gay and or like, so are we just friends or what? Like I know that I would spiral like that. Yeah, it's unfortunate that that is a thing. I've had time, like the very first time I ever tried to like date a boy when I was whatever. Um, I was like definitely in, in this frame of mind that was different than now where I was like, I want to wait until I like actually like this person before having sex. So then it, it's yeah. like, a week and a half, two weeks. Like, um, he like invites me to like stay at his house and like, you know, we kiss and everything, but we didn't, um, I left. I was, I, I ended up leaving. He then ended up like ghosting me and basically being like, I thought you didn't, didn't, I mean, I guess that's not ghosting. Cause he told me why, but he's like, you just didn't seem like all that interested. Because I didn't have sex with him. It's a tricky, it's a... Oh, back to the time when it was okay. Like, if it should go both ways. If you want to fuck right away, get on down to it. If you want to wait, it shouldn't be presumed that like, oh, this person doesn't like me. This person doesn't want me because they don't want to have sex with me. Like, it would be nice if there was an element to courtship i actually have some like really good news Ooh. remember okay so remember last week oh I think when we recorded um yeah. we did not shill out our patreon oh, okay in fact we didn't do any of that so i do want to say that this week on our patreon is a fan favorite a fan favorite <laughs> week the second Five time we're ever doing said it. they were cool with it last time yeah um is pillow talk baby where we get deep so mm -hmm. i'm assuming we might get more, a few more details on the, whatever amanda's about to say oh, yeah this is the rated version if you guys are into our voices if you like shit listening to us talk we also talk about um sex in the city adjacent shit like broad city other shows check out our patreon it's patreon.com slash pod and the city also if you're watching us on youtube hit subscribe also hit like, yes, it helps yes. us. Engage, you know what I've, comment. You know what I've also really been hoping people could do? I'm hoping people can do this on my my TikTok as well, my Open Night Doll TikTok, is when people repost your stuff or um, share it, it also like really, really helps because it's pushing oh, it out to other people. Yeah. You know, I don't think we think about that as much. You know, we're always about like, oh, like it, comment. But you know what? If you repost share it that shit, yeah. or share it somehow, or maybe think of one friend that you aren't embarrassed to tell that you listen to this to. Yeah. Say, you know what? I've been listening to this podcast and like, they're kind of okay. Their voices are kind of... <laughs> All right. Let's uh, move on here before you get into it. I want to hear your... Sorry. I want to hear your story. All right. Let's get into this episode, shall we? No, you were gonna tell your G your story. At, oh I just yeah, I forgot about that already. For. Okay, um, I, but I wanted to give the Patreon plug because I'm hoping maybe you can start the story. And well, I won't have a story yet, but okay. So oh, okay. last week on this, I was saying, oh, I have this date tomorrow, right? Which was mm -hmm. Sunday. Then mm -hmm. it turned out I got my period Sunday. And, oh, at right? the farmhouse. At the farm. So then I kind of like was like over it. And like, I was like, he wasn't, and like I said, he wasn't as obsessed with me as I wanted him to be. So mm. then I kind of just stopped messaging. But then I look back and like, I was really busy all week with the whole like sister wife stuff. But anyway, uh -huh. he he was texting me like all the time, like every morning. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Like, how's your day? I hope you have a great day. All this shit. So then finally, like after the live was over last Wednesday with Jody, I was like, all right, well, hi. So then we'd been kind of talking. So anyway, all that aside, I've 
finally relented and said, okay, well, I will, I will come over to your house. So we set up this, I'm like, this is happening. He's like, I'll have pizza. We can spend like the whole evening together. I'm like, well, that already seems kind of like, but at when least, was it, is this happening or when tomorrow, was tomorrow 4 PM? I took the whole day off. Like I moved my recordings with Jody. So all day off I have uh, to tomorrow. I have the whole day off and I'm like, sweet. So then I, right before I come on here, Joan, guess what happened? He canceled. He rescheduled till Thursday. And I was like, oh, yes! Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the relationship of my life. This is amazing. <laughs> Like, I was like, I was like, I like you so much more now because like you, you're gonna find out that nothing I like better than cancer. So now I just have the day off tomorrow. Jody's like, do you want to switch back to recording? And I was like, no. <laughs> when are you doing it instead? Crazy? Then Thursday. Before you go to the farmhouse. Yeah. Y'all, hopefully it's not a Texas Chainsaw Massacre situation because that's kind of like what I was worried about. But I I'm watch a lot of scary movies. Pizza. That pizza needs to be like, I don't know how that pizza situation is going to work out though because he lives like, well, he lives like 10 minutes out of town. But I'm like, I don't want to eat beforehand. So you better have a good system for reheating whatever pizza that we're getting. Well, and I don't, I don't want to show up and there's a DiGiorno there. You could get the delivery after. Like you could... You know, can well, I guess you can get delivery out there. I mean, I'm not paying for it. Use the app, get get your stuff set up in the app, like get the order set up in the app. So all you have to do you can schedule a delivery. Like, oh yeah. That's actually girl, what you're you talking guys to the should expert do. on Uber Eats, girl. That's what you guys should do. Okay. Should I like send a request? I'm like more excited about the pizza and the movie that we're gonna watch. Be like, afterwards. just so you know, um, my favorite kind of pizza is, and I will not be happy with a frozen. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna well, need I won't this be. delivered. The one mm. that I mean, I'd be a little right? irritated if I showed up and it was frozen pizza. Well, I wouldn't invite someone to my house for pizza, I think, and cook a frozen pizza. No offense if people you're are not straight. I guess you're right. And he's like in when like. When I invite people to my house, I have like a charcuterie. Oh, me! I made this um, dinner for my aunt and uncle last night, and I saw court. that. Where did I you saw see that? Five minutes of your. I watched like five minutes of your live. You did, Joan, <laughs> lurking in there, lurking silently in the comments. Um, I think it was because I was trying to figure out what time ours was. The one that you I know, tried to schedule because I have never, it. Oh. You kind of just let me have it that you actually enjoy watching our lives, and not that I do like you guys. You're so funny. It. I think you guys uh -huh. are so funny. I think we're um, it funny. becomes hard though because a lot of the conversation, I'm like, I don't even know what they're talking about. But okay. I'm sure people would log on from yours and be like, "This sounds like, um, you know." Let's get into this episode, uh, <laughs> season two, episode fifteen, short. Cummings, 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 coming. Uh, that means coming really fast in this show, in this episode. Yeah. Now, Justin Thoreau, Thoreau is in this episode, not looking like a snack. I think well, he looks off, like, not. Isn't this his second appearance? No. Is it his second appearance? I think appearance? it is because. I know we saw Bradley Cooper. I think that well, I guess he's the person who appearance. famously comes comes twice. Who comes on the show twice. He's in I knew season that. one, right? Like as a party guy. Is he the one that carries like, uh, oh yeah, she calls big and she's like, this guy is here and he's kissing my neck. And then that, and then the episode ends with her being like, I want you to stand in one place with me. Right? And he's the guy that she's at the bar with. And she's like, say hi. See, I can't remember if that's that's him or that one other guy. There's the guy that she looks down his pants at his tattoo, and then she sleeps with him. Oh, Jeremiah okay. was a bullfrog. Jeremiah. So it was not him. And then it's not Bradley Cooper. So I think that, yes, I think I'm correct. Okay. I just remember him having, like, spikier hair. Yes, he's way hotter season. in that first episode. And it's then, I thought he was hot in this episode. I don't I like the short him. hair. I like some scraggle. Ooh, I kind of like it. I think there's okay. some people who look good, re really good with, like, a buzzed head. I'm not one of them. He has an attractive um, face. But anyway, he's in this. He is Justin fine Thoreau. as fuck. But unfortunately, guys, he's got a big he comes before even like putting it in you, I guess. Yeah. Now, see, when this episode aired and I was much younger, I actually genuinely was like, that's kind of nice. That means that he's like so turned on by her and he likes her so much. But now I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I think <laughs> I knew since I was like 10 that like coming really fast has always been like looked at by society is like oh 
Did but, you get that joke in Friends the very first time that Rachel and Ross have sex and he rolls over the juice box and she's I like, don't "Oh, honey, it's so you're gonna." You don't remember it? Well, they're at the planetarium and they're like, they start making out. And then she goes, oh, honey, oh, it's okay. That's no problem. And he goes, oh, no, I just rolled over the juice oh. box. And as a kid, and, and I know I'm not the only one here. I assume that he peed his pants. <laughs> I, I just did not. And again, I was much, I was old enough to know what coming yeah. was. We didn't learn about coming in school. Yeah. Um, I When we had sex ed in school, it was like in third grade or whatever. And so my vivid memory is we're sitting in this room. It's like dark, right? Because they play a stupid video. I get the, get, and get some like sexy a, lighting for the sex ed class. And again, when I was in like third or fourth grade, that was what, like 1994, 1995. So like, I think it was a projector. I think they brought oh, in like sure. the old school projector and played it on the screen. Um, and... They're like, then they get to a point and they're like, does anyone have any, do anyone have any questions? And they were split up, of course, boys and girls. We One weren't. boy in our like third or fourth grade asks like, um, is it true that divorced men masturbate more often? Oh my God. We, I went to a Catholic school. We did not have, we did not have conversations like that. Okay. Well, they the school didn't want to have that conversation either because they were like, I we don't I'm that's not really what like we're asking. And then my dumb pet like time not petty, my like little prissy ass who I actually didn't know. I raised my hand I'm like, "What's masturbation?" And they literally were like, "Um it's something that people do to like feel good. And that was like eh, it. But then I got made fun of like so much for asking what <laughs> masturbation was. Uh, my How was I of, supposed to know what that was? My memory of sex ed is that like the one really good day where we actually learned about like bone in, I had to hear about it. Like I had to learn about it. Like, cause I was like, like from time out in the corner because I was talking too much in class. <laughs> so how old are you guys when you learned about that? It was like fourth grade, but I like specifically okay. remember like being in the corner facing the corner <laughs> and like hearing everyone like having, and I was like, God damn it. I missed like the one good part. Talking about putting on condoms and stuff like that. I just know they were talking about like the woman, the teacher was referring to her the vagina as the pee pee. So <laughs> I just remember what? Like, was like really, really jazzed up and I'm like, I can't hear. Like, put the dick in the pee pee. I said something about the pee pee. I just remember hearing that and like, everyone <laughs> laughing at me, being like, "Damn it, I missed the fucking joke I'm in the fucking corner." I got in trouble a lot for talking, Girl, but like I didn't I really was... have friends growing up. I was always oh. talking, but I was always in trouble for disrupting the class. <laughs> well, looking back, like I didn't have friends. Well, that was probably why you were wanting friends. You were just looking for that. My problem was I would talk to everyone about nothing, literally. I, I like. I guess that's probably me. We're both only I, children. Yeah. I also think like I was, I was in the gifted program, which now they're saying is like for kids that were like kind of just like, you know, annoying, I guess, to the teacher. <laughs> probably somewhat. kids that have undiagnosed ADHD um, back Yeah. Then. Like stuff like that. Like too, way too, not too necessarily focused. even too smart, but like I got everything done fast. I understood everything. Oh, so me too. I would be like, I'd be like braiding girls' hair. Like, yeah, for sure. Um. Well, anyway, back to this shit. Justin Thoreau and his big fucking dick. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah. so this is how this one starts. <laughs> Oh my God. Everyone has a worse nightmare. For some, it's bathing suit season. For other, it's knowing your birth certificate and it can never, can never be legally destroyed. For Miranda, it was family hour at her gym. Now look, I've been a part of several gyms, different gyms throughout the country. Uh, I've never seen this. This, this I don't is think not this real. Could possibly be a thing. This gym would have a child care center. Yeah, there wouldn't Ain't be no way it's their kids' and, day. And if it's kids' day, they would wouldn't have children running around with like um those Heavy exercise equipment. balls yeah. through like tight aisles of of machine like workout machines like and throwing them well, around. And that and aside, people like when they're when people are at the gym, like you're don't fuck like they're like there are gym exactly. people 
they're they will even if they like kids they're gonna like bitch you out if you if your kid in my very short gym time um where i really came to terms with like that i don't like the environment of gyms yeah um it was always like are you gonna use this are you using that hey oh you know (laughs) shit like that and i'm like ew they're like i'm in my the middle of my super set I got to get 15 rounds in on this. People are saying this to you? Yes! <laughs> At a gym. <laughs> Not recently. Okay, well, anyway. I'm this serious. Because is... I'd be on the things like this, you know, like the um, chest presser. You got, you got it on like whatever. the 15s. <laughs> I am se- actually strong. It was probably like 60. I have really strong thighs. I think if we did that game where we lie on the ground and like put oh. our legs up and like try to like mm-hmm. fold each other over. Leg wrestling. Yeah, I could definitely get you. Mm, I don't think so because I have really thick thong. thong <laughs> I'd be very aware that your penis and my vagina would be really close. Yeah, together, I wouldn't want to play I think that would be it. really odd. Like we'd be both like, Ugh. I also don't want to play any games where I have to lay on the ground and like violently kick my leg up because it would also like crunch my body up in a way that would make me feel really fat. All you would, oh, that too. But all you'd have to do is reach your finger up and just touch any part of my ankle. And I would I'd be like, well, <laughs> if you're, you're, just- you're going to use that leg to do the kicking because the moment your There's leg touches leg. mine, it's going to go, <laughs> your whole thing is going to like explode. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, this, this is New York episode. Sports Club. And yeah. we know this because both people that she rides the elevator with, this guy and then the woman at the end, are wearing pristinely brand new New York Sports Club well, t-shirts. It's very clear that this was a, you know, a, one of those hidden sponsorship things, right? Oh, I mean, I guess I, what I think happened here more like simpli- simplistically is that they went to film at New York Sports Club and they mm-hmm. like, they're like, oh, uh, let's just have like, let's have you wearing a New York Sports Club shirt. Let, let's buy this. Because oh. it's still like the shirt that the guy's wearing pretty much still has the creases in it. It's like See, brown. I'm assuming that New York Sports Club was like, we'll let you film here, but you need to have um, the shirts on. Yeah, but I, mean, I also think, why would you want to show that you have this nasty kids day? Exactly. That's why I think that it maybe was not. But I think anyway, either way, she gets in the elevator and <laughs> you know that other, my other favorite Miranda working out scene is when she's working out, she's training for a marathon and in, uh-huh. you can hear what she's listening to on the earbuds. And it's a, uh, it's like, she's still, she plays like a tiger, but she stings like a bee. Whatever. What's that song? Uh-huh. Uh, she bangs. She bangs. Yeah, she's like working out to she bangs, and you can like hear it on her. On I her can phone. never not think about William Hung with oh, yeah, she bangs. That's of the course. only now Ricky Martin, though. Baby, I saw him in a meow Anita on Broadway. Meow. He um, anyway, everything. so she's in the elevator. The dad's wearing this shirt, and then, um, and he he goes, Do you mind? He likes to push the buttons. And then S- Simon, his little kid, his annoying fucking kid is there. However, I will say. I actually feel bad for the kid for most of this. Cause this would be really fucking annoying if I was the kid. And he's what? Like, oh. just that like they the dad like brings him along on this date and to walk with this fucking redheaded bitch in the in Central Park. Like I feel like <sighs> the there the, this kid seems to be like Trust me, I've had this. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, and no, I can imagine. But anyway, he likes to push the buttons. Mm-hmm. Also, Simon seems too old to like pushing all the buttons. But anyway, this whole he thing, pushes... he pushes all the buttons after Miranda already said, "Okay, hurry up." I I'm go. out. I'm out. I gotta go. Like, how quickly are you out? Like, I'm out of the elevator before well, the door. Well, the goes, next I'll, I'll walk. floor, whatever floor it stops on, I'm getting off, and I'm getting on whatever other elevator there is. There has to be another one. Oh yeah, because that's a long ride. So he goes, um. She she says something, but he goes, no, it's because I'm going through a divorce, a D-I-V-O-R-C-E. And then her nipples got hard and she was like, Yeah. Oh. And then the kids at one point is like, stop talking to the dad. And um, and then he goes, any chance I could persuade you um to take another ride? And so she's into it. But like, again, like the kid, just the presence of this kid and the fact that he just did that buttons thing. It also shows that he immediately is not a cute kid. I'm out. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> I've never been horny enough to be like, I'm going to pursue this. Well, I know from that this is a television show, but this would not be happening. I'm sorry. Uh, pretty much, like, 
Miranda is not get it, having men like swooning over her when she goes in an elevator after working out. I'm sorry. And she was a bitch to your kid. You're not like, she was a bitch to your kid already. She's acted like she's disgusted by your entire presence. And you're like, ooh, yeah, like, let me get in it. Again, I've already made it clear that I don't find, in previous episodes, somewhere at along, I'm not into, like, someone dripping in sweat and being, like, from working out. I don't, I would not be like, ooh, baby. That's like when I, oh, my God. That's look at remember how I told you about how yeah it no me, me and Jody like, go through this every every recording session I'm like I look so much better in the other my other mirror who's this <laughs> all right if you're um, not watching Streamyard likes to where my like widow's peak is it like almost gives me an extra bald spot it like fills in something that oh, doesn't anyway need to be there. continue uh next day okay so next day the women are all eating breakfast together they all have matching plates of kale strawberries and scrambled eggs all untouched so i don't that's, know what that that's unusual for them i know usually but they have everyone has some different item right this time they're like no this is what we have we have kale strawberries and eggs so miranda goes mm -hmm. is it wrong that i wish i had a guy who wasn't um like used up already and then samantha goes what they should do is round up all the divorced men and keep them in a uh pound did she say pound? Yeah, pound. Mm -hmm. That way you have all the divorce history right there in front of you before you decide to pick him out. Uh, and uh, Charlotte goes, just because a man's divorced doesn't mean he has a problem. Like my brother Wesley, this is her storyline and, and Samantha's storyline. Like my brother Wesley, oh, yeah. he just got separated Harry from his wife, lead. Leslie. Yeah. So everyone's like making fun of like Wesley and Leslie. And, um, and then Carrie goes, uh, is that marriage by Mother Goose? And I was like, no. Hated that. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, so Charlotte uh. wants them all to meet her brother, who and she's like, he's very important to me, guys. Again, this is the brother who literally never gets brought up again in the rest of the series or in just like that. But this is her. Um, he's hot. Uh, can't even picture him in my head, honestly. Well, he gives you just like kind of like what you'd expect from like a late '90s dad type in a show, but like a hot dad. Like he's, sure. you know, an angular face that like hairstyle that really kind of like can't even picture him oh i mean anyway. there's too many there's too many new men in this episode for me to like there are on. yeah well anyway carrie is dating von weisel and um carrie's wearing this outfit which i hate but it for some reason kind of also works because it it's so mismatched which is why i hate it but um, like, what do you think of this? So like the shirt, it. it's like a pink bra, but you can see like the whole bra pretty much. And then a kind of the 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 straps of the shirt don't match where the bra straps are. Um carry necklace, and then the shirt is like kind of uh white, blue, and teal tie-dye. And then the skirt I don't is mind like, all the stuff on top. Yes. It's like it's the addition. Actually, of that skirt. I, I like the skirt as well. Yeah. There's a thing about pattern where like these patterns clash with each other because um, there's a saturation like of color difference and the patterns are too similarly sized where if they were like, if one was bigger, like if those flowers or whatever it is on the bottom were like even like humongous. It yeah, and they're yeah, and the patterns aren't from the same color wheel. Either. Yeah, it's it's too. It looks like laundry day. Like it does look like laundry that. day. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, she looks great uh, from the like yeah. just without the skirt. Later on in the episode, I think she probably looks maybe the best she's ever looked. Oh, in which ever? It, like at the end where she's in that gray dress. Yeah, her body Ugh. looks insane there. Her butt is like that's like, what a I. It, it was. I that's what I was saying when she's like, opening that door God to go damn. to the restaurant. Yeah, because like usually she she always talks about like how she doesn't work out, but I feel like Sarah Jessica Parker must have like oh. it was like full body day. Like she was. She like, definitely like, works out. Are you kidding? Yeah, but like usually she doesn't look like like a gym person. But no, in but that she does Pilates dress, she or something. Like, or, oh no, she looked know. like she was doing weights. She does gym. rich person exercising. True. Uh, Miranda, okay. Uh, marriage, Charlotte's brother. Okay, Carrie's dating Von Weisel. He's hold because so she walks up, he's holding this roots bag. Which, do you mm -hmm. guys have roots in the States? Like, why would you like have that? The... Maybe because he's from somewhere else. He was cultured. He was trying to be cultured. Do you know what Roots is? 
Is it like a like a clothing brand? Yeah, but it's Canadian, and like the 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 brand is like a loon. Wasn't that kind of popular for a hot minute? I didn't in know you guys had it in the United States. States. All right. Well, anyway, he's holding a. But we have bed. like Canadian things. Yeah, we have maple syrup, Amanda. Craft dinner. I sent you that a picture of all that craft dinner, huh? The craft dinner though in Canada looks like dollar store like craft mac. And I know. Cheese. Just says KD. Like, <laughs> it just looks like compared to ours, which ours isn't. Ours is not some like fancy looking thing it's, it's the like same macaroni it's just and ours cheese is a little, it's, it's like our like, money boom. yeah go ahead uh <laughs> uh i remember he's, he's a writer right he writes he's returning, short stories you're turning books to his parents house it, this, mm -hmm. that's us in this roots bag i just find him remarkably unsexy here but um he's he's being called by gq he's gonna model some clothes for them and he's like i love being a writer nowadays because it requires a little writing so I guess we're establishing that he's good looking. Um, right. Anyway, he's dropping off books to his family. He asked Carrie to come in and she's like, I'm not dressed for parents right now. I'm like, well, you're not dressed for like anything. You look insane. You're dressed to go to a laundromat. <laughs> yes. But I also, I mean, it's not established how long they've been dating. <gasps> That's um, what my but... whole question is. Through. I'm like, what is their relationship here? Because later he's just like, she's reading his book and he just comes out of the shower. But I'm like, but you guys aren't fucking like yeah, there's some weird closeness here that has not been established. They don't have any chemistry really together. Carrie doesn't yeah, usually is. wait like months before she fucks someone either. It just seems like she? there's a like, comfort level where he's just kind of is at her house a lot like yeah, like, almost living there. But um anyway, so we walk into we meet his family and I will tell you and I, I know love I love that you know this family. reference. But I'm like you walk into this this uh, brownstone and you just walk into Jenny Hinsey's family. This is this is oh complete. yeah, is it? It's not Jenny Hinsey's family. Yeah, it definitely makes me just be like, oh, wow. Yeah, um, Jenny's my <laughs> best be friend nice. from, from college. Must be nice that to have um, just like a yeah, her, fa I mean, her family's just wild and like funny and just like they're all close. But like you know, parents together. that have been together a long time yeah. and love each other and, and like still, gorgeous. Like, the Both whole of them family are gorgeous. all loves each other and everything. Yeah, and they all kind of get into trouble. Like they're all kind of like just like when, when they would come visit me in New York, like, the, the craziest shit. Like the her the her mom and sister are like we're all falling into like trash on the side of the street. Like it's just like the craziest, most fun uh, family. <laughs> I, I like specifically remember a time like me, April, Jenny, and her mom like all like fell into garbage. Like that's what, and, <laughs> and we're just like laughing. Mom is doing this anyway. Jenny, for those of you who don't know, is the girl that's the first person to sing on the JJ Wentworth bus commercial. Uh, oh. But this is exactly what her family's like, and the family is led yeah. in this episode by Valerie Harper. Oh yeah, I can't Rhoda. remember her name. Like a. For a big chunk of the time. I was like, what's her name again? I had to look it up. But uh, the dad oh. uh, is named David... M oh, God. Something. He's British. But anyway, he's from he's from the TV show The Man from Uncle. Oh, okay. They that made a remake chestnut. of that into they a movie. They made a movie of that, and it has Henry Cavill in it. That's the only reason I think I... Oh. And I think Army oh. Hammer, famous... Um, what? Cannibal Harney... Arnie, oh my God! Carney. Yeah, I think that what got blown fuck? out of proportion a little bit, but uh, uh, anyway, he's holding a tray of locks. That honestly, if I was there, I would just be like, "What's what's the story with those locks? Oh, what's, I would what's be happening like with the locks? Tearing it oh, up, baby! Like big, tearing, just like the amount of locks. I'd be like, I put that on there. Give me my onion, my my capers, capers. cream cheese, red. Onion. I did do a chef's kiss on my live earlier. My uh oh. I can't wait to watch that. All right. Well, you're gonna be like, wah, wah. I'm gonna I'm gonna write a really cunty comment underneath. Please like, do. This life sucked. Be like, God, practice <laughs> where's, your your where's live Amanda? work. Um, where's Amanada? The glow is not happening. <laughs> Miranda the glow. is on her date, looking pretty cute. She's kind of wearing a two piece. Mm -hmm. Um, do you remember? I it's like remember. green, <laughs> and it's like a dress, but it's kind of cut in the middle, so it's a two piece. And it's okay. like green and orange and it's patterned. But she has her hair throughout this episode. She has her hair like you can see in this uh, picture here that Joan put up. Um, like a clip? The, yeah, she has like she wears a little. She's not wearing a clip in this picture, but her hair is a this. So yeah. she adds a little clip. It makes it a little more feminine and like cutesy, very demure. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, mm -hmm. So she looks really good. And she's on this walking through Central Park date with the kid. And again, I'm not completely heartless. I do feel bad for the kid. It sucks. It's like, what oh. am I doing here? I'm like, what? what? This is they're boring. going to they're going to the playground or whatever. I don't right? think so. I think they're just wandering through the park and the kid is like tagging. <laughs> yes. When did you think they were going to the park? They're in the park. They're walking through Central Park. They're not in like but, a playground. But I like kids like that, Amanda. D I didn't. Kids like going. Well, duh. But kids like going to parks, Amanda. They like looking at like well, rats this one wasn't and enjoying shit. It. They like to go like. They like to go like get a um, hot dog or yeah. But stuff, this like, isn't fun because she he, the dad isn't paying attention to him. He's with this dumb bitch. Yeah. Well, there's anyway, a lot of people who just like let their kids just run wild, which to me is yeah, I know insane. I know. So things are going well, and the, but Miranda, they have a little kind of fun back and forth there. They do have chemistry, and there's like a really good comedic timing the way they place that, where like they have a little like they're giving each other shit, and then he kind of walks away, and she goes, "You're kidding, right?" And then right at, out of like from out of frame, this huge stick comes and lands on Miranda's head, and she's like, <laughs> "Ow!" And the kid has hit her in the head again. I'm out, and I'm yelling at that. I'm definitely cursing. The first thing out of my mouth is what the fuck? I can't even control it. If someone my hit you in the head out of nowhere with a stick. Is it called a pejor pejorative? Uh something like that, yeah. I say Jesus sure. Christ is usually my Jesus Christ or is Jesus fucking go Christ usually. That's which, another one, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Uh sorry for the blasphemy, but it, it works. If I get hit, it, it's if something's just going to burst out of my mouth, it's gonna be either Jesus Christ or fuck. If I could have a better name and more important name to replace the Jesus Christ part, I would. Like, what? Um, Dolly fucking Christ? Dolly fucking Parton? It just doesn't work. You're going to say Dolly Levi. Um, <laughs> okay, Miranda. Yeah. Things are cool. Okay, Miranda says, oh, it must be hard to date with a kid and have a social life. And he's like... I never really had a great social wife before, Simon. Uh, uh, I'm just one of those guys who really likes being married. And Randa's like, you're like the heterosexual holy grail. And then at this point, the kid hands her a worm. And Is that the heterosexual holy grail? Uh, She's but like a man I who don't... wants to get married? I mean, I guess. But like, I also think this is really out of character for Miranda because I don't feel like she... But she's already done this with that guy that married... The one that was staying with her with the frogs and they have the wedding. Oh, yeah. So she yeah. apparently does want to get married. It's just, it's Bring back Steve. Bring back Steve. I've had enough. I've had enough. Yeah. E enough. Bring him back. Charlotte is at home with Wesley, her brother, and she's mm -hmm. making him comfort muffins. And mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. He just talks about like how, like, um, I wish I had someone in my life who would like, bake me things oh my god every time i go to my mom's house like she just gives me like here's oh, food nice. food muffins uh snacks oh. things leftovers um oh. <laughs> carrie and vaughn are now at the house so carrie has a great relationship with his parents he she had a great time the dad has invited her to come speak at columbia although i would hate that i'd be like i'm not doing that well they Give me anxiety for two the, weeks leading up to that. The general premise here is that this family thinks that Carrie Bradshaw, author of column Sex and the City, is like a revolutionary and like very important for the times, like beyond anything. Like enough that the mother needs to go to a, a separate lunch with Carrie to tell her how much, how much that she wouldn't. Because she's a sex therapist, right? The yeah. Mother, um, that she would that sex therapists would know nothing if it weren't for Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah. Well, we're, I want to get into that conversation later because I actually really hate that she. Okay. Uh, we're because we're not at that conversation yet, but put a pin in that. Um. She, so, <clears throat> but they've left the house. She's loving his family. So now they're back at Carrie's house, and they're like so horny, and they're making out, and there's like this dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun this kind of mm -hmm. music playing and um they he presses her up against the wall and then he comes and then she gives him this there's this bit this recurring bit where she just is canning him i love the way that you just describe that you're like there's this music bam 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 and and then he comes and then it's just and that's it because it is like he's like ah, 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 ah. it sounds like it hurts and she's like let me get a tissue let which th that part i was like Ew! 
Yeah, you gotta dab the tip. That's there. not cute. No. That, I mean, like, the premature ejaculation isn't that cute either. No, but like, here's my question. Couldn't he, if, if, just say you do have a problem with premature ejaculation, uh -huh. couldn't you just jerk off, like, an hour beforehand and then, like, or, like, jerk off um, I don't and know. then... Cause that's what the plan is with this guy that I'm going maybe on Thursday. He'll probably we'll figure out a way to reschedule that again. Oh, because he remember hasn't... that was the plan because he hasn't done it in a while, according <laughs> to him. Uh, but is that we're gonna do it once, get it over with, and then we'll eat a bunch of pizza and then I'll feel mm. disgusting and then we're gonna really go to town. Mm. Doesn't that work? Then though? he'll put it in the butt. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Or maybe I mean I guess I think that works for you. Yeah, that makes sense actually, but. In this case, I don't know if he's a premature. Like, I like I would just guess that maybe he just gets to orgasm fast always. Yeah. Even if he sucks. comes again, like, is he is it going to be a prolonged thing or is it just like always that you're that's just like, there's got to be something you can do about that. Well, they have pills and things. Yeah, right? or it might be like a, a therapy. You put thing like a cream on it. You can put like a cream. Oh on yeah, like a on your dick to make it um, not spermicide, but like a like a numbing. Yeah, to make it like. Not want to come as well. Okay, well, there you go. Well, anyway, um, yikes. So that sucks. But anyway, so now we're out to lunch again. And Samantha's like, oh, get out, get out now before he stains all of your sheets. And then Carrie and Miranda start making excuses. And they're like, he probably had a little too much to drink. And we spent all day with his family. And Samantha's like, look, the guy cannot get his Cadillac into the garage. Get into, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, let me say this again. Look, the guy could not get his Cadillac into the garage. Honey, I'm sorry. I hate being right about this. <laughs> just such a funny line delivery there. She this is, is why annoyed. we need Samantha on yeah. and just like that. Like yeah. this, her whole situation is just so missing. So yeah. missing from and just like I that. I hate being sorry, honey. I hate being right about this and you know she, so. I, I, her one, one of her art sorry to branch off here one of her arguments is she was like i can't play you know come hungry samantha like as a 60 year old or whatever but you could she doesn't need to be she can she could use this energy on anything yeah, she still has know? life experience and she yeah can still, like, i feel like i'm still gonna be just as neurotic and reckless in my 60s plus like i'm pretty sure 60 year olds get fucked yeah, okay. of course. I guess. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to. Um, I, anyway. Okay. Miranda. Carrie goes, well, I don't really like the thing I like most about him is his family. And like, they really got charisma. They're like the Tom Cruise of families and mm. great. And so now she's talking, uh, she's typing. And it's the question is when you date someone, how many people become emotionally involved when you sleep with someone are you also fucking the family screwing the family uh so carrie goes to lunch now with vaughn's mom and as you said that the, the the mom is like well without you carrie how would anybody know about all the people out there having sex and carrie's She's like, like you're just so free you just like put it all out there right so then carrie goes oh well thank you and then valerie harper this is one of my most hated things is when people do this because they're valerie harper goes I was kidding. And Carrie goes, oh, okay. And she goes, no, no, but seriously, you're great. This is such a cunty thing, right? To be like, I was actually kidding. Well, it's just stupid. I feel like that's something you would say. I feel like that's something you I, have said to me. I do <laughs> like to, I like to, like, play tricks. You're I like to be a little bit of a tease. You like to be a little stinker. Um, <laughs> But, like, lovable still okay. so you know well it's kind I of bitchy because they just met that's the level of comfort that we have that i don't think valerie harper's character has with carrie yet she's like where i'm like oh my god amanda you look so great today and you're like oh thanks so much i'm like that yeah, conversation I love has never happened goes. if you said that to and me i would like, assume you were setting me up for some kind of joke if you were like amanda so like not a relationship. literally <laughs> last week i think i said on here how good I thought you looked. Uh, Amanda uh, has a great memory for dumb shit, but not. I remember all the bad things her. people said about me. Yeah, I remember what I, where I was. I remember stoplights that I was like intersections in Phoenix that we were parked at when Brad said something shitty to me. And I'm like locking it in. I have a vision locking in my head in. of this one night when I was driving you and we happened to see like something and I can still picture that in my head. Yeah, it was a bad night. 
that happened to me a couple other times, which is that. Okay, well, anyway, well, we can get into that story on on a Pillow fifty dollar Patreon. It's not. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. No. No. Okay. All right. Continue. So they go to lunch, and and yeah. Valerie. Um, I almost said Valerie Cherish. Valerie <laughs> um, Harper says, "Oh my God, Carrie, you're everything for the sex yeah. therapist." And then Carrie goes. May I just say, I like you very much. And I'm like, oh, and your son, son comes really fast. Well, they haven't talked about that yet. So now <laughs> Charlotte is out with Wesley. And Carrie shows up, but she's brought Samantha. And Charlotte is not happy because we all know how Samantha can get. And Wesley is very sensitive right now. So Samantha, Wesley comes over and he's like, hey, guys, Samantha just invited me to a jazz bar. I like <laughs> jazz. Well, I love jazz. She's like, I love jazz, and she loves jazz. I couldn't help but notice you dancing to the music. Well, I love jazz. I can't. <laughs> Thanks. So she's, so she's. I mean, we're continuing on. I mean, it's canon. Samantha loves jazz, and she's she not does. afraid to talk about it. You know what I think? Because I think it's because it's like so sexy. Like I think she perceives it as like a lot of saxophone. Sexy. Yeah. All right. So uh, Miranda and her guy are now post-coital. Because they've had sex during the day with the kid at home. This is fucked up too. And now she has to use the bathroom, which is not in the master bedroom. So what mm -hmm. the fuck are you doing? Going to the bathroom across a hall, mm -hmm. fully naked. Well, the kid's there? At all. Yeah. Oh, at all? Okay, oh, so God. like, oh, so God. you and me have just banged it out magical. And yeah. now we're laying there and I'm like, I'm going to go take a dump and I go naked and now I come back and I'm naked and I'm like I just took a stinky fucking dump <laughs> I would take a shower I would not get fucked go take a shit and then come back to bed no 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 <laughs> she's at least peeing she's I will say okay I'm gonna take a shower and then take a shit while the shower is running. No, uh, I would take a shit. I wouldn't take a shit. It's gonna steam everything up. I wouldn't take a shit. All right. Just letting um, you know, if I just got fucked at some dude's house and I had to take a shit that bad, I would be like, dude, this one. Gotta I, go, it, baby. I'm one leaving. Of the guys Later. that I've had like some of the best sex in my life with. Oh god, he's so fucking hot. Um, mm -hmm. but I spent the night at his house, and I remember shit. the whole time I. I, I, well, the next morning I woke up and I was definitely like still drinking. I was in New York. So I always had to take a mad shit in the morning. So we slept together and he had his arm under my head the whole time. And I was uh -huh. so very aware of that. I'm like, uh -huh. his arm's going to fall asleep. So I just like didn't sleep all night because I was concerned about his arm. Uh -huh. So then the next morning I woke up and I was like, I have to shit so bad like he had this little apartment in brooklyn so i'm like i i need to go so i like left really it was like six o'clock in the morning and i'm like i need to get home to like my cats or whatever and i rode that fucking train from like brooklyn like stuyvesant like bed -Stuy, uh to <laughs> astoria ditmars last which stop is far as fuck. far as fuck. and the whole time i'm like okay i can do it. and i'm like 23rd street there's a mcdonald's i can maybe run up there and take a mad shit but like it was not i've told this story before like in squirrel <laughs> friends universe so I'm, i apologize if you followed me from 10 years ago but here so we get to ditmars and like you know how your body your body starts to realize how yes. close you are to home. So I'm like, okay, okay, we're, we're going to make it. We're I'll have times when like, I'm trying to get the key in the door. Like, I'm fine yeah, the whole yeah, drive. Yeah. And I'm like, by the time I'm at the door, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going. It's going to happen. Like, oh my you're God. You're crowning. Yes. And I'm just, I'm, and, and this like, was a long walk home from Ditmars where I live. So like, we get there and like, um, we get to Ditmars and I, and the whole time I'm walking around the train, I'm sitting, I'm standing, I'm doing, I'm clenching, I'm doing Pacing, everything. cold sweat. Pacing. Yeah. So I get off, out on Ditmars and there's the shoppers, there's Mojave, Shoppers Drug Mart, and then a Starbucks at the end. I'm like, I need to get in the Starbucks, but I'm like that, if there's a line for the bathroom, that's just going to make me need to shit more because it'll give me anxiety. Mm -hmm. But girl, I got in there, there was no line and I went in there. I mean, I destroyed, that I destroyed <laughs> that bathroom. And then there's like this little side exit right outside the bathroom. So I like snuck out of there. And then you're like, well, I could have just gone. Like, it, was really a it was a lot. It was an really eight minute walk home from that Starbucks. Like, I don't know if I would have made yeah, it. Yeah, but couldn't you have got also gotten to a Starbucks like right by his place? 
I don't think it really hit. It wasn't as bad. Okay. It wasn't as bad on the walk to the train. You like, felt like you could make it. I was like, I need to shit. And then he's like, I think, oh, no, that's not even what it was. The addition to this is that we woke up. And I'm like, I need to leave. And he's like, well, let me make you some coffee. Oh, so he dear. like, he like, we had oh. coffee. So that was not a great idea, but I'm too poor. Terrible here. idea. Terrible idea. But anyway, that was the best shit I've ever taken at that Starbucks. Great. Because the relief. Yeah. Where yeah. were we? And I had time to build up. Oh, so Miranda's um, taking a big stinky dump yeah. at this guy's house and the kid walks in and she like slams the door closed as anyone would do though. This is a natural reaction. So the way this guy reacts after this is crazy because isn't but, that just anyone's reaction when somebody opens the door and you're shitting? You would immediately like slam the door closed, right? I, th I think I also would have like locked the door. There's that and not been buck ass <laughs> naked. Isn't it butt naked or is buck. it buck? It's, it's buck, buck naked. Yeah. Well, that is I never have known naked. it was buck naked. Butt I think it's naked? buck naked. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe I, I did know. People it was say buck butt naked. naked too. Both make sense. Actually, I would argue that butt naked makes more sense than buck naked. That's what I thought was that butt naked makes more sense, but buck naked, yeah, I guess. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Walter's All like right. audibly yawning back there. He's like, he's <laughs> over our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, okay. So Charlotte talks to Wesley in the next morning. Oh wait, what? No, next morning now. Uh, oh, she. The kid is now bleeding. I guess, uh -huh. and he's like, just go the dad and mm -hmm. uh, like the kid the kid is fine it's fine. fine and anyway. you know what the more like fuss you make over little bullshit um the more your kid makes the fuss about it that's where i originally established that you're fine is when i worked at jimboree because i found that if mm. kids got hurt and i just went you're fine mm -hmm. it was you know, over so that's i of, would always be like that when yeah, i, you're I okay. mean like if they were actually hurt of course so i wasn't obviously. just like get over it but I was like, I'm like, oh, oh you're okay. You know, like a little like tripping and like yeah. falling down. It's you're, good for you. Yeah, fine. Anyway, next morning, Charlotte walks in on Samantha in the kitchen, and Samantha's like looking for the mugs. And then she's, she's like, oh, wearing honey. her. Uh, she's she's in Charlotte's own kitchen. Yeah, wearing Charlotte's brother's shirt, and standing on a chair, looking really slutty on it, being like, "Where's your coffee, honey? Let me find it." No, and I then Charlotte's like, is your stuff. vagina in the New York City guidebook? Because it should be. It's the hottest spot in town. It's always open. And then that was West... a pretty good like cadence. There was some cadence that really followed what you were saying and what Charlotte thought that. Yeah, I, I feel like when I do when I quote stuff, I, there's a musicality that I can always hear mm. in my head. So I, I feel like mm. I'm pretty good at doing imitation. Tell me. Well, there's some people who don't like when you do sing songy. So they don't like when I sing, but mm. I'm just saying when I when I quote lines, I love I how are there music. people who don't like when you sing? What the fuck? Anyway, because everything I do every time. Quick them. question. Yeah. In this situation, we can like this whole storyline we could wrap in this convo. Yeah. What would you feel if your brother, you know, if your friend who was like the one who was known as the like one who gets a lot of it like fucked your brother in this situation like this like i feel I like, like at the I beginning feel like i'd be okay with it i think i'd be kind of jazzed I'd be like, i think oh. i would oh, i think i would be like probably the charlotte in the beginning at I least i might be kind of weirded out like oh you were at my house this whole time and like you did i'd almost feel like you didn't like come and say hi to me like i'd be i'd be, I'd be just so weird that we were both in this house all night and like we didn't I didn't know that you were here. It would be weird to me. Yeah. The situation of finding Samantha, your good friend in your yeah. kitchen. And she just got banged out by your own brother who's staying with you. I would be like, yeah. I feel like I would have, I may not say as fiercely as what, no, well, I don't know. I might've been the Charlotte in this completely uh, and said probably exactly what she said uh to samantha and i guess but then also charlotte you've gotten the most uh agreed, agreed. that's why i was saying you know samantha's the one labeled as the one who's yeah set, has so lots now of um later carrie's in bed this is this weird thing where vaughn now comes out of her bathroom in a towel so like what mm -hmm. happened leading up to this because carrie's just in her own bed reading his book and he has now taken a shower but he just spends the night there that's like weird though. Well, he did fuck. They did fuck because he already. No, they didn't. Early, he already had his premature ejaculation. 
But they haven't actually had sex. Oh, okay. Well, I would say, though, they've attempted. So I could kind of see this happening. Okay. I guess that's a I, good point. Because it's not like he never did. He hasn't done that at all yet. And they've probably and done like, other things, right? But they probably... Maybe he's, he's at done least stuff to her. eaten her out. He yeah, okay. That's be. true. That's true. She couldn't really go down on him, though. Like have to. I don't even know what I would think in that in all that situation. Okay, but I guess that's a good hard. point. But anyway, they have there's a closeness here. He spent a lot mm -hmm. of time with her, so he goes, "Ooh, that's hot." The way you're reading my book there. So then he like sits down and they like start. It's, my I, my cat is destroying something in the next room. I can't wait to find out what it is. But uh, he sits down and they start like making out, and she's like, "Wait, let's just wait and savor it. And if you get too excited, you just let me know, okay?" And he's like, mm -hmm. "Wait." Which I understand, understandably, he gets a little offended because you've ruined the moment now and you pointed out the thing that we're both supposed to just like kind of pretend is not there. So I understand him being a little embarrassed. And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. I've been talking about sex since I was fucking like, but embarrassed. Years old. Like, I, I think he's overreacting. I think in this case, you got to accept what you are and work at it. You can't expect your partner to just be like, oh. You didn't just jizz after two seconds. Like, you can't... Like, he's expecting his girlfriend just to be like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, no, it's, it's... That doesn't make sense. It's rough. I mean, it sucks. And, like, he, he's got to be embarrassed. I mean, whatever. But anyway, so he's pissed. And he's like, it's time to go to brunch with my family now. So let's go. So they go... So he came over, like, beforehand. Oh, so I guess that makes sense. So he slept over, took a shower. Now they're going to brunch. Got it. So they're going to brunch with the family... Uh, sorry, I lost my place. Oh, that's it. We got it. He goes, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Right now, and Charlotte talks. Comes. Now, Charlotte talks to Wesley and um, she has reawakened him. Um, Samantha has reawakened him because he's like, I've never had I haven't had sex since, In you know, years. my divorce. Blah, blah, blah. He says know. she's frigid. And there's this guy that remember big tool for you that I was talking to the one mm -hmm. that gave me the Austin Powers reference and he wears those slides. Oh, God, yeah. He was con like uh, the red flag that did it for me was that he's constantly talking about like how his ex-wife would never give him sex and she never wanted and she never let me suck on her nipples. Like he'd say shit like this. And like, I get it. But like he was bringing it up so what? consistently that I'm like, no, I don't. I don't like when men talk about their exes like that, especially well, when it's also, about sex like, like that. He's I'm like, like, he's saying he wants you to be like a nympho. Right. And I'm like, I'm not, I am for like three weeks and then I am like over it. So it is interesting. Not have though, a great time like, with me either. Why wouldn't you let your man suck on your nipples? He was, he was, he had a really big fixation on the nipples. Like he was bringing it up to the point where it was like, I was like, okay. Like, oh, maybe he really... was trying to drop hints being like, you know, I'm really into this. So no, he, we had that conversation. No, oh. he, we had that conversation, but then it was getting brought up to the point where I'm like, no, you're really into this though. Uh -huh. And like, I'm okay, just like. Sex in the fun. city, I guess. Oh, look at Walter. <laughs> He's being so cute. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> So Wesley has been reawakened. Like you have a really good mm -hmm. friend there with Samantha. So uh, Charlotte brings Samantha some apology muffins and they have a really cute conversation. And Samantha's like, get in here. Samantha looks really beautiful too. Uh, Miranda's now back at the gym and she's finished her workout and she gets in the elevator and another woman with her stupid gross kid is wearing a New York sports club <laughs> brand new t-shirt. And she goes, do you mind? He likes pushing the buttons. And Miranda's like, oh yeah, so do I. And she pushes it. Now the worst, that, that's a pretty baller move. But now the worst part is now you have to ride down down awkwardly in the elevator with this uh person you were just really rude to yeah i don't know what i'd do in the whole situation yeah i would I? like why wouldn't your child push the button already have your dumb well, she kid wants push to push it for miranda too mm, no but wouldn't they both just be going down to the lobby it doesn't matter carrie okay no sorry here is the reading in bed part Carrie's reading in bed and Van is shirtless and he's like, okay, let's go. She's like, Let, let's uh, take this slow. He's like, let's go to brunch. So now they go to brunch. Van is in a bitchy mood and the whole family's there. They're eating. He's looking for the again. scallion cream cheese. Yeah. Where's the cream cheese? It's just fun. I just, I, it's very funny. So um, Franny, one of his sisters, Franny's girlfriend is there who is played by Morel Enos and she is in Big Love and also The Killing. She's like the main woman in The Killing. You've seen her mm. before. Did you recognize her? No. She's that girl with the long red hair. And the, the, the they all start fighting with Justin Theroux. And Carrie's like, me and this girl look at each other like we, like, 
we're both like on a different planet or whatever. So mm -hmm. Van gets all, Vaughn gets all pissy and they all get in a fight. And um, Carrie's like, you know what? I'm just going to leave. So Carrie goes out and the and Valerie Harbor goes to stop her. She's like, don't leave. I know what the problem is. His last girlfriend wasn't as discreet as you, you can work it out. And Carrie's like, this is just really uncomfortable. Like I can't do this. And the mom's like, but Carrie, like we can be friends, right? Like we can still be friends. And Carrie's like, no, I realized I had to break up with the mom. And she's like, uh, she's like, you're never gonna, who are you going to date next? You're never, they're never going to meet They're never going to have a mother as nice as me. I'm never going to find someone like me. And Carrie's like, I know. Which is challenging. Cause yeah, of course, you know, especially as you get older, it is about a lot. It's about the family. This was a hundred percent the relationship with me and Brad's mom. His mom fucking worshipped me. Well, of course. How could you not? The glow? Do you see the skin? I mean, <laughs> she yeah. actually did. She commented on my skin all the time, which was nice. Wow. I mean, to have any any anything pointed out about you that's like your appearance that's nice. Anyway, well, how nice it, for you? <laughs> Thanks. Don't get too don't get too upset about it. That it happened like three <laughs> times ever. Okay, so Carrie goes to leave. Okay, that's it. Um, and then the mom's like, in a situation like this, you gotta laugh. Anyway, Carrie leaves, and then um Carrie goes, um, what I realized was the most important thing about your life is your family. There are days you love them and others you don't, but in the end, they're the people you always come home to. Sometimes the family. Uh, the family you're born to, and sometimes they're the one you make for yourself. And that's where we get them, uh, the three ladies here, and uh, Carrie knocking on the window, and they're like, Carrie, what are you doing here? Come on in, Carrie. And Miranda's like, boy, yo, 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 yo. She's like, who's there? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the episode. No, strong episode. Yay! I loved it. I liked this one, too. I actually really did. Um, And right. we're getting closer and closer to the season finale. And And just like that, maybe. All right, guys, here's the thing. If you've made it to an hour and five minutes in, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I don't know how Share. you would be, but good Share Lord. Share it. Share it, baby. Smash the like button. Repost it. You know what? Clip out our voices. Make us viral. We somehow. have an email that we forgot to read last time, but do you want to oh, save it shit. till next week, maybe? I think we should we're because Let's we're see. like we're like getting long. Yeah, we're trying to cut, keep things Getting to an loud. hour now, guys. Can you we're trying to make this? things somewhat more listenable because I know it is hard to... Now, I'm sure some people are like, make it three hours long. That's how I am. But it is hard to get in all your podcasts when like, we're an hour and 45 minutes for a 20-minute episode of a show. So I we just found are... a new podcast that I already talked about on Wednesday. Ooh. That like It's one of those podcasts where I'm like, I like them. They also don't have commercials. So oh. And it, it's like a backlog of like 700 episodes. And I was like, yes. Wow. Well, guys... Uh... Oh, jeez. I'm getting That's tired it. over here. It's 4.51 p.m. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I like, I like Guys, we I'm love you so much. Check out all of our stuff, our weekly roundup that, again, is moving to Wednesdays. Check out our Patreon. Pillow Talk. Check out my um, TikTok. Check out Amanda's podcast. Because what I realize is, like, we should be talking more about it. Like, we never, we don't really, like, plug yours. Um, oh, yeah. Check out. Uh, but, like, we, we should plug each everything. other. Or, you know yeah. what I mean? We love to hate everything. Check it out. Me and Jenny. Basically, I'm just saying you should plug ours more on yours. because you I have figured more that's where that's where we're going. I actually did forget to mention it today. Guys, anyway, we love you. Love you guys so much. Um, have a wonderful evening. And um, let's get out of here. Oh, God. Hit it again. I'm going to hit it. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Oh. Love you guys.